What's up, guys? It's Sean with the Sean Adeli Book Channel. Still need to think of a better name for this, but we're here. And today I wanted to talk about one of the newest books that I've been reading, and that is Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. <sighs> this book has been recommended to me by uh, a few different YouTubers and a few different booktubers as well. Um, I've been a fan of Brandon Sanderson for a while. I've fully versed on all Stormlight, and I also read pretty much the end, uh, his end to the Wheel of Time series as well. I've uh, been following him for a while, a uh, very, very big fan of his work, and this was one of the series that people said was one of his best. So I picked it up, started reading, and I'm going to do a non-spoiler version, and then we're going to go into the spoiler version for the book, first book. So here we go. Uh, Mistborn is a classic fiction, more uh, fantasy, uh, world taken over by evil king, uh, has been ruling for a very long time, ruling class is extremely oppressive to the lower one, uh, the golfing class is very, very large, there's a lot of sexism and classism uh, in, this, in this series, and we are following uh, pretty much a band of rebels, uh, classic, is a band of rebels who are trying to overthrow the Empire. Uh, our main character, Vin, is a very scarred child who's dealt with a lot of uh, difficulty growing, her, growing up in her life. Um, a lot of abuse from her family, from her brother specifically. Not only was she physically abused and beaten as a child by her brother, she was also a mentally very much abused and she's just a very broken person and the way Sanderson handles this is phenomenal. The transition that he takes her on uh, from this person who's unable to trust anybody else, who's constantly looking over her shoulder, who's constantly looking that and saying someone's about to betray me, someone's about to leave, uh, is fantastic. Uh, the way he handles it is beautiful. I absolutely uh, loved her relationship with Kelsier, which is kind of the Gandalf of the story in a way. Um, some people might be find that insulting uh, to give Kelsier such a high remark, but I've fairly enjoyed. He's the classic rogue of the story, kind of the gang leader who's going to take everybody under his wing and kind of proposes the crazy ideas. Uh, this The story is very, has a gentleman bastards vibe to it has uh, a bit of a, I don't, I can't say very Stormlight-esque, honestly, but in a way, similar, similar to Stormlight as well. You definitely can feel uh, Sanderson's touch through the world. Uh, my, one of my favorite, kind of a caveat from this, one of my favorite aspects of reading and storytelling is lore. I love, love backstories. I love to understand, oh, this person was this person's grandfather and that led to this happening and this is this. Love that. Give me all of it. I love it. I'm a huge history buff. I love history. I love to understand where things came from. And I think in fantasy, it's just phenomenal. Give me Harry Potter. Give me the last thousand years of Harry Potter. I would read all of it. I love it all. Uh, because I think it's fascinating to see what the story was before the main story. And what Sanderson has done is he's given you so much, just little nuggets of what is going to come and what is in this world. And he just teases it phenomenally. If any of that sounds interesting to you, if any of that sounds exciting, I don't wanna really get too much into the spoiler edition, but for me, Mistborn was by far, uh, has been uh, Sanderson's best work. Uh, and I've absolutely adored every single part of it. Um, I can only recommend, I can, I would honestly recommend, uh, Mistborn over Stormlight, uh, at the moment. <sighs> I know, I know people are going to have a problem with that, but that's just my honest opinion of the, of the series at the moment. I've just absolutely loved it. Uh, the Final Empire, which is book one of the series, is what we're going to get into now and do the spoiler. And I'm going to do book two, book, The Well of Ascension and The Hero of Ages as well. And all of those will most likely just be spoiler for spoiler editions because it's the second book. 
If you want an idea of Miss Warren, this was what, what you came for. I would give this, I would possibly already put this in my top five. It's in there. It's in the S tier of books. It needs to be read. I think it's phenomenal. Personal opinion. Moving on to the spoiler edition. So, so many great things to talk about. Um, we're going to first mention, the story pretty much has four to five main arcs. Uh, the Rebellion It's number one. You have uh, the Rebellion, pretty much the mini fall of the Rebellion, Kelsier's death, the Lord Ruler. And then you have Elend and Vin on the side over here. Um, we'll start with Elend and Vin because I actually, I actually do like romance and fantasy and I am a fan of it. So I actually really enjoyed their dynamic. I enjoyed the little... Uh, the situation between the two, the fact that they both kept thinking the other one's uh, kind of leading them on or is trying to trick them or is trying to take advantage of them. I'm a fan of that. But, uh, and I think it was handled very well, honestly. I think the whole relationship was handled very, very well. A little fast in the, oh my God, I love them. It's very teenage, which is fine. That's totally acceptable. They're teenagers. They're meant to be. They react that way. Uh, but I do, what I enjoyed most about it is her relationship with Ellen allowed Kelsier to see the nobleman in a different way. That was what I was a fan of. I was a fan of how that, like, well, Kelsier was able to, like, understand, it's like, oh, wow, if she is able to see this, maybe I could see it too. And he kind of gets to that level. So I was a big fan of that part. Um... As far as the Rebellion goes, I think the Rebellion story is fantastic. Uh, it's a little idealistic in the fact that they're talking to thousands and thousands of people and nobody tells the Lord Ruler faster about it, which you eventually find out the Lord Ruler knew about the whole thing and he kind of let it happen. This was, this is a common argument I have personally with these type of fantasy series is power creep becomes a problem. The Lord Ruler was so beyond ridiculously overpowered that it pretty much took luck for them to win. Uh, in the end, Kelsier, as much as he did, even sacrificing himself to enable for the revolution to go through, it didn't actually beat the Lord Ruler, and the Lord Ruler would have been able to deal with the Rebellion by himself very easily. This is where I wish, personally, there would have been more. Uh, I kind of wish there was more research and work that the Rebels could have done in order to defeat uh, the Lord Ruler, ra rather than it just being a Hail Mary, which it kind of ended up being. Like... He even did the classic monologue thing at the end whilst Vin is like half dead, which allowed her to do something she's never done before, which was draw off the mists and get the bracelet off of him and kill him. Like, cool, but I wish there were more clues involved in, uh, in the text that they saw. Maybe I would have loved if that would have been the secret, if there was more triggers more nuance in there where Kelsier actually had a plan. He figured something out about it rather than it just being kind of, well, good luck. Uh, Cause there were many opportunities where the Lord Ruler just out of ego pretty much just kind of let his place fall, which is fine. That is a human characteristic that does happen. Uh, the other things I do want to mention is Kelsier as the Gandalf character, as the guide. Um, somebody, I was watching somebody else's video about this and they were talking about how this is Kelsier's story through the eyes of Vin. And I actually thought that's a fairly good argument. That is kind of what the story is about. Um, Kelsier is a very, very unique character. I've been told he comes back in Stormlight. I don't know who he is yet. But I heard, I remember watching stuff about how Kelsier is in Stormlight. So I'm guessing he's actually one of the Heralds, which is, makes me even love him more. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, but 
I do like the how he built himself up. I do like the whole prophet angle that he went with because that's what he knew he needed to do in order to get the Scots to rebel, in order to get those beat down people to stand up for themselves. And I just think all in all, the story was fantastic. I was a huge fan of it. There was so many good things in regards to the story. The, there's some arguments that I'm just kind of, there's some parts where it's kind of just meh. Uh, Vin just naturally being gifted is something that I kind of roll my eyes at a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of Chosen One or, oh, why are you just randomly OP for no reason? I don't like that. I wish it was more deserved. I wish it was more uh, worked on where it was just ridiculous training, but you can't really do that. Um, it kind of also balances out Vin's size and her being a smaller person, but one of my favorite aspects of the story is, and the part that's like heartbreaking the most is the way he talks about the mental torture that she went through. Uh, the fact that her brother is in her ear the whole time saying, he's going to leave you, leave him before he leaves you. They're going to, they're going to beat you up again. I left. Why wouldn't he leave? And this, that, that constant barrage of uh, negative thought and just feeling worthless is so, so well handled by Sanderson. He does it beautifully. And it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. The part where she breaks down and she's talking about how uh, she used to get beat up by Reen, her brother, and she would like to get beat up because it made because that showed that somebody was paying attention to her. And it's just such a dark, twisted way of thinking. And it's, but it's so beautifully written and her arc of being able to, having to fight that part of herself, absolutely loved it. Absolutely was fantastic. To the end of the story where even, where she like, she's done everything. She still keeps telling herself, you need to leave. But at the end, she does go back to Ellen and, he holds her and, and it like the, the way the phrase ends and it says it was the only thing she had ever wanted. And it's just so heartwarming to see that because you definitely saw how crestfallen and heartbroken she was from Kelsier's death, who was this father figure to her, who was this godlike, all being powerful person who in her mind could do no wrong. But all in all, cannot give this story. I wasn't just infatuated from minute one when I started reading it, just like blitz to the end. Um, I'm in the middle. I just finished book two yesterday. I just started and ended it yesterday. And I will be finishing book three uh, pretty much within in the next day or two as well, because I've just absolutely loved this series. Um, if you are a Sanderson fan, if you like fantasy, if you like more classic trips, pick it up. You won't regret it. Uh, book two should be coming out soon. I will also be finishing up book two and three of uh, the Broken Earth series. Fallen Empire, Broken Earth, Final Empire. It's the same thing. Um, and that's going to pretty much be it for this episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. And my name is Shyam, and this is the Shyam Valley Book Channel. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.